Hey guys, Quack here with another video. Just doing a quick tilt down on my bookshelf and over to the bed where the Barnes & Noble 50% off Criterion sale is happening. So I went in today after work. Was pleasantly surprised that they had a good stock in. Um, previous visits during the sale, I did not find what I was looking for, but I did today. So let's take a look. First up, we have War of the Worlds. Uh, this had been in my Amazon cart forever, and a lot of times I I saw it for 20 bucks. I just never pulled the trigger. Something about Criterions, I just like getting them in store, I think, just to make sure the packaging is good and whatnot. But this is from 1953, the original War of the Worlds. Well, uh, yes, the not the original radio broadcast. Um, that was from uh, 1938, looks like. But, yes, a great title to have in the collection. <laughs> Picked up Bringing Up Baby, starring Katherine Hepburn and Cary Grant from 1938. Again, another, uh, this is a blind buy, have not seen it before, but it looked, uh, it looked funny. A couple great act actors there. One of the digipacks, the Grand Budapest Hotel. Uh, I believe I watched this with my wife once. Um, came out in 2014. A really nice, really nice packaging here. Sorry, I'm trying to reduce the glare as much as I can. But, um, yeah, something's moving around. I'm going to have to open it because it sounds like it's a disc, but all four copies they had were making the same exact noise. So I'm sure it's fine. And then one title I was really hoping to get, and I was glad they had it, Fantastic Mr. Fox. I have not seen this. Um, I believe it's animated slash claymation something along those lines but i feel like the last two sales i had tried to find this at my local barnes and noble they just had the dvd copy so i was really disappointed about that because i'm all about the criterion blu-rays if if that format is available i will always pick that up again so all these were 50 percent off so 20 bucks a piece so i got those for 80 and then i got two more not for me but for Luke of Razor Wire Reviews. Got Portrait of a Lady on Fire. This is the one that had been eluding him for a while. So I grabbed that for him. And also Throne of Blood. Also on his hard to find list. So I um, was glad to pick those up for him. And I will send them to him across the pond, hopefully this weekend. And then another uh, a mail call this week. Something I had ordered from Classic Flicks. Little Rascals Restoration Volume 1 Volume 2 and Volume 3 with the iconic Spanky throwing the money over the railing uh, that you have used as a gift before no doubt but these I've seen the reviews so far and just some of the um, comparison videos of the old, of the un, of the original footage and then the remastered and they look amazing. Um, I believe there's scheduled to be five of these volumes out. Volume four comes out in January, so I will be pre-ordering that. But as you can see, these have shorts from 1929 and 1930. That's amazing. 90, 90 years ago. 1930, 1931. And 1932, 1933. I believe um, the third volume is the one that introduced Spanky. So... One of everybody's favorite little rascals, but we got you know, quite a bit of content. 210 minutes on volume 3, 225 on volume 2, and 223 on volume 3. Okay, a couple more items to get to. Um, Barnes & Noble was also having an Arrow video sale, 50% off all Arrow titles. My Barnes & Noble didn't have a ton of Arrow titles, but they had a couple I did want to pick up. First one is Mallrats. Great Kevin Smith film. Um, I, I never, I don't think I picked this up on Blu-ray. I think I've just had the DVD copy. So, you know, glad to have this. Arrow always oh, puts together a great presentation, great extras. And this is one I'd, I'd wanted for a while. And I held off, and I'm glad I did, because I didn't really want to pay 
30 plus for it, but I'm totally fine paying 20 for it on an Arrow Blu-ray. And also a blind buy, The Last Starfighter. The Adventure of a Lifetime is about to, I guess, begin, it says up there. And he's in front of an arcade machine, so. Um, you know, tons of special edition contents, 4K scan. Oh, Catherine Mary Stewart from Weekend at Bernie's fame. Excellent. And then, I think this is the last item today, but I keep finding things in here that I haven't shown yet, so. Ultraman Tiga, this was, came in the mail from Amazon. Another of the Ultraman series releases, again, this is on DVD, like the last couple of releases have been, which is fine, I don't mind, you know, the, com the, the change of format for some of these later shows, which I believe is the only way to watch them. And it's standard definition, so that's fine. Six discs. Another Ultraman title to add to the collection. Perfect. And then last but not least, we have some books. We have The Dune Saga. Frank Herbert's Dune. I hope I'm saying... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Herbert, not a bear. But um, funny story with this. I had ordered it from Amazon. First, I ordered the, the mass market paperbacks, but they... I didn't like how small they were, so I got the larger trade, kind of like trade volume size. I'll take them out here so you can see the covers are actually pretty nice. So the story behind this was I ordered it on Amazon, was tracking it, watching it the whole way. And it said it was delivered to a mailbox, but I had it delivered to work. And there are no mailboxes at work. You have to hand it to, to a security guard. So I talked to the security guard. He never saw it. He checked with the mail person. They went to check on it, and they said it was at the Ramada next door, and I called the Ramada, and they had no no idea about it. They couldn't find it anywhere, but what a beautiful presentation of books here. The covers are awesome. I really like those. So hopefully I will get into these soon. I really want to watch the film, Dune. It's out on HBO Max. I'm sure it's only out for a certain amount of time, so I better get cracking on that. Um that's all for today guys i appreciate you stopping by i hope to like i say every time i make a video hope to make more videos soon but um i was glad i was able to make you one today have a nice weekend and happy halloween see you next time